All right, welcome to my part five. I am Iron Man storyline quests. So these actually came out a few days ago, but there was so much other content to do. I'm a little bit behind. But if you've never seen one of my videos like this, basically I show you all the dialogue. I show you all the spoken dialogue as well. I know that often when you're trying to do these quests, you got to do them real quick. And sometimes you die in the process and you don't get to hear all the voice dialogue or you don't get to witness it all. So that's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you everything just in case you accidentally missed it. And I'll show you how to do the quests. So the first one says, hey, Iron Man's here. Talk to him, but be cool about it, okay? So stage one says, talk to Iron Man about his equipment. And he's a brand new NPC right here. So let's hop in and see exactly what he has to say. And by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is for the secret quest, which I did a video on already. So be sure to check that out if you haven't done those yet. So here we go. Again, he's located right here between the windmill and this new Iron Man pod location. Okay, so there he is, right there. And obviously he uses the new Iron Man skin. Here we go. We should get some voice dialogue, or maybe not. Let's see. I guess not. It says, I heard you were hosting a little party. And what's a party without some gifts from me to you? Hey, Tony's back. Now, in my experience, Stark Tech is very good at taking down scary megalomaniacs. And his support might help Hope accept she's the hero the prophecy foretold her to be. Sometimes all you need to build a little confidence is a big thumbs up from Iron Man himself. That's why that poster is on my bunk wall. And no other reason. Ha! Huh. So there was voice dialogue. Nice. Let's do continue. I didn't know this, but you can also buy his combat kit. That's crazy. And the energy rifle. And you can ask him about Iron Man or Doom. Let's ask him about Iron Man. A question? Excellent. I'm my favorite conversation topic. Yep, that's me. I am Iron Man. Though really it's a titanium gold alloy. Iron just wasn't cutting it strength-wise. Still, it's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? The name, I mean. Iron itself actually makes a sort of dull clunk sound. How about Doom? Doom's always had some scheme or another up his sleeve. Doesn't really surprise me he wants to turn your island into his own little Latveria. Say what you want, but he keeps a tight ship. Latveria's clean as a whistle. So long as you don't mind the whole 24-7 surveillance thing. All right. So now we have to search a Stark industry chest. So actually, I just want to eliminate him real quick and see, number one, if he respawns, and number two, what does he drop? Here we go. Okay, so he did respawn all the way over there, and he drops a free Stark Rifle. So no need to pay, what is it, 300 gold? Let me just double check. Yeah, 300. Unfortunately, he won't drop the combat kit, which is 600. Okay, so the next quest says, search a Stark Industry chest. And it says, now that we have access to Tony's tech, we should check it out. So unfortunately, as far as I know at least, the only way to find one of these Stark Industry chests is by landing at one of these pod locations. So the big Iron Man or War Machine pods drop at these specific locations, but you can land there early and there's one single chest at each location. So my recommendation is to just land at the farthest one away from the bus route. But even then, these are pretty much always contested because people are doing these quests the secret Iron Man quest required to open one of these chests. And not to mention you get the mythics out of them, which means people are landing there just for that as well. So you have to have a really, really good drop in order to claim this chest first. There's pretty much always one person at least at each of these spawn locations. Now, I don't know if there's voice dialogue. I could go in there, open it real quick and probably die in the process. But if there's voice dialogue, I don't want to miss that. So I got to somehow clear the area and open the chest, which I don't think is possible. I think I might have an actual good drop here. I think I'm going to get this. Let's go. No way. I did it. I can't believe I pulled that off. So I don't know if that was a real player that I just tried to bamboozle, but I completely whiffed. Okay, so now it says, hit opponents with Stark weapons from a total combined distance. Uh-oh. He's trying to run. That guy came in fierce.
Oh, it says opponents, actually. I didn't realize that. So you could hit NPCs and stuff as well. All right, we got it done. Let's go. Now what do we got to do? Fly over Castle Doom with Iron Man's flight kit. Oh, no. Castle Doom? Okay, well, we don't have the flight kit right now, so that's not good. The Rift Recalibrator signal should reach all the way to Doom's castle. Let's check. So last match, I failed to find the flight kit before I died, so I'm going back to try to find it right away. I'm just going to land at one of these locations, try to open the Stark chest, and we might get lucky. In fact, I think I have a good drop here. And here I said opening this chest would be super, super hard. And I've done it a few times now. Yes, and I got it. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wait. Someone's fighting right here. Let's see if we can get involved in this. That guy just got popped by Anonymous. Oh, no. He was one shot. Now I feel bad. I totally third party that guy. All right, well, let's fly up and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, anywhere in this vicinity, and it's going to count. So I just have to fly for a little bit. Whee! Let's see if we get some voice dialogue here. Again, a nice, strong signal from those rift recalibrators up here. Yeah, Tony has given me a little gift to help us take Emma Frost down. Can I be vulnerable with you for a sec? Please don't. When the society took Peely, I couldn't focus on anything but vengeance. Watching you choose justice and do the right thing over and over again, it helped me find my way back to who I really am. Let me guess, a charismatic mentor with wisdom beyond his years? Exactly! You get me! See? This is why we make such a great team! Destroy objects with Iron Man's combat kit or War Machine's arsenal. It says this has to be powerful enough to take on Doom, right? Okay, so obviously getting War Machine's arsenal is going to be way easier than getting the combat kit. Okay, so War Machine's pod just came in. Let's go get that. Because that will give us the arsenal at least. Oh, people are fighting right there. Hold on. Oh, that guy just died with a crown. Well, you know he's probably weak because he took some damage there. Oh, wow, he just got fried. Sorry, buddy. That guy was probably a really good player, too. Let's grab the War Machine's arsenal. And let's take the jetpack. So it just says destroy objects. Oh crap, someone's coming in right here. Oh my goodness, we almost died there. Holy smokes. I gotta get out of here. I've only destroyed five objects. Okay, so I'll just blast a few things here. Right, we're at 10. Alright, here we go. This should be it. Here we go. Now what? Damage vehicles with the Unibeam while flying. Alright, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone just rolled up on me. Who did that? So there's a vehicle right there. Let's see if we can just... Here we go. Okay, that didn't count. Oh, we have to be flying with the feet. Okay, let's try that again. Wait, those guys are fighting over there. Let's go over there. And then we'll come back.
Wow, I just got absolutely fried by that guy. Absolutely destroyed. I accidentally hit the drop down button. I didn't mean to do that foot dive at him, but that closed the gap exponentially and I got smoked because of that. Well, now I gotta get both of the Iron Man Mythics again, because as you saw, it didn't work when I was using the normal jetpack. You have to be flying with the feet. Pow, right in the kisser. Did he just hop in my car? He just hopped out of my car. That's what happened. So you look good. Gotta recharge my thrusters. Darn it, someone got it already. Oh my goodness. That guy almost smoked me. How? I even hit him first. All right, I gotta go down to the slurp truck right here and hope there's one left. And look at that, there's two slurp trucks left. All right, now we just need to find the combat kit, or at least someone that has one. Boy, everyone has jetpacks, this is crazy. I wish I had the, uh, there's a guy up there too, we don't wanna go up there, yeep. Those guys are fighting each other with lasers. Look at this. I'm going to go try to get these guys. I was going to say, you know that guy's weak. Okay, well now I got him, but there's no more cars left to destroy now. Wait, I already have a crown? Oh, that guy's shooting from above. Let's see if we can get up to him. Oh, we got that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got this. We got this. Let's go. We didn't hit a car, but we won the game. I'll take that. Let's see how many crown wins I got. Not very many. 25. Well, we had a 10 kill victory, but we didn't get the Unibeam until the very end. And there was no vehicles left. Wow. All right, let's try again. All right, here we go yet again, trying to get both Iron Man Mythics so we can damage a car. Okay, I think I actually have the best drop here. We got the boots. Someone landed nearby, I just don't know where. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me. Oh, there he is, right there. Here, we cracked him. Now let's fly over there. Oh, wow, he almost got me. Those were some sick shots. All right, now we just have to wait for the combat kit, and then we should be good to go. I hope there's nobody camping over here. Please don't let someone be camping. Let's go. Yes. Okay, we got him. Now let's find a car. So we have to be flying, which we are. And we have the combat kit, which we do. Oh no, there's only a car right here. I don't see one. Oh, <gasps> Doom's Island's up there. Oh man, we gotta do this quick. Okay, there's a car right there. Yes, we hit it. Okay, now we gotta land. Oh man, someone's gonna cap Doom Island. Cool down, cool down, cool down. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Got it. That is satisfying. What's the word? Are we moving in on Emma? Soon. I want to iron out a few contingencies. Oh, I remember ironing out my first contingencies. They grow up so fast. I don't really know what I'm doing, but all I can do is try. I'm 
Biting the clonberry, so to speak. Seriously. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Jones. Right, let's see if I can get this guy real quick. I don't know where this guy went. Yeah, I think he's creeping nearby. No way I get this. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, let's go! Six HP! No way! Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, this other guy's coming up here. Well, if he comes up here, I'm dead because I didn't heal up. Come on, come on, come on. Here he comes. Dang it. He's going to get it. Don't shoot me. This guy's gonna get it. This guy's gonna get it. I'm dead. Okay, so what I didn't understand is that it reset for this guy. So when I hopped off, I thought he would get the progress that I had, and that's not what happened. It looked like he had to recap it from the beginning. So I had plenty of time to heal up there, and I just didn't do it because I'm dumb. But we got all the quests done. So we'll take that. So I'm not gonna lie, those were actually pretty difficult. A lot of those took a little bit of luck and a lot of time. I feel like if you're not that good at the game, you might struggle with some of these because the odds of you getting both the combat kit and the Iron Man feet, that's not an easy task to do when everyone else is looking for them as well. Regardless, there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor time.